Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty Crosswords with No Fair Fight. We want to get all the good stuff here. We need all the runes. We need all the bonuses we get. So we're trying to lure this guy away. Please always keep in mind that Beholders are one of the trickiest enemies to get rid of, to outmaneuver, because they're fast and they have normally an exceptionally good sight and um, attack vector. So yeah, be really careful of those. These guys can be hard to trick. Well, these guys are not so much hard to trick. So we're getting a rune, which is always welcome. We're getting a chest. We're getting plus three permanent mana, which is excellent. Uh, some snake eggs, and that is pirates, ghost pirates. And I should have taken those. In hindsight, you can scuttle me for saying, Boris, you didn't take pirate ghosts in your training armies and that was a mistake. And yes, it is because these guys can find additional trash. Is there, if there is no chest on the battlefield, they will bring up one. So they do not necessarily give you more chests. Um, if you're a lucky guy and there is on every battlefield a chest without them, then fine, you're lucky. But that doesn't work necessarily all of the time. So, yeah. I should have taken them. They're pretty pretty cool. Yes, they take 5% of your um, money after each battle, but I think that's worth it. I, I Personally, I think that's absolutely worth it. Should have taken them. That, by the way, the guy with the rat and the dagger is the cruel. And I think our friend the beholder is stuck against the wall, which is okay. And there is the robber on his tour looking for trouble. And there he is. It's not yet time to fight. So we're out maneuvering and moving as fast as we can back to the boat. We don't have yet all we need from this island because there is still one chest missing to do the X quest. But we will be able to put that up. These are, by the way, not normal wolves. They may look normal, but they are not. These are the werewolves. That's an elven unit. The other one is a neutral unit. That are the beholders. I think we can outmaneuver this guy, can we? Uh, it's a little bit tricky though, and we should of course not do it by the evil beholder. Is I think the beholders are both evil, but those are called the evil beholders, and the yellow ones are just called the beholders, and there's pirates approaching. But anyway, um, no, they're going back, that's nice with us. So the evil beholder and the beholder are both good units because they can take control of enemy units. Well, the Yellow ones can, cannot do that, but they can put low-level units on sleep. They hit them and they sleep, and that is awesome. Um, the bigger beholders can control can take control of enemies, but only to a certain point. You see, they cannot take control of the unit that you commanded, but you can say which units they should attack. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, we're still missing one chest, and the chest should be close to here. It's a little bit misguiding on the map, but um, yeah, the map is not that accurate if you ask me, but okay, anyway. Well, a little bit it is. If you if you turn it upside down, in my, it, it really works. So, the question is, how do we get there without being eaten alive? Hard question it is. Back to the Beholders. Um, they're ranged fighters, both of them. They're okay in close combat. They're mobile. They can float, so they will not be affected by traps, for example. Um, okay hit points. A relatively high leadership for what they do in damage. Six crystals. Outstanding. Anyway. We'll make landfall before the guy gets us. And we're looking around for our treasure, the second part. We're looking at the wrong place. But again, the, the map is a little bit misleading, but this is actually the part of the map where it is. That is not the treasure we're looking for. The guy on the horse is one of the rec recruiters of Damien, and 
we don't really want trouble with them. And what I don't get is that the treasure chest is pretty close because we're at the moment um, south east of the position. The point where we, um, this crossbow road, where the orc is patrolling, the orc shaman, that is actually the right position. And um, yeah, you can see it here. Basically, it's above the tent that the night guards. But it took me some time to realize that. You're not always that clever, are you? Well, me is not. So this is the tent, and there where the orc is now, that is the place where the chest will be. Come on, you can do it. A little bit careful because these guys can be really a pain in the butt. There's some shamans of the orcs, there are actually two types of shamans. Um, one of them is doing damage... Um, on the number of enemies on the field, uh, of orcs or goblins on the field. Not sure if orcs or goblins, but I think it's orcs. And yeah, be careful if you're fighting really big armies and they become really, really dangerous. Have we been down to the cuttlefish? That is the, the um, thing here. You get the information about the cuttlefish when you go to the cemetery on the um, I think it's the first, no, it's the, it's the bigger island of the pirates, Rusty Anchor, and there is, on the cemetery, there's a very small cemetery, there is a bird, a, um, parrot, and he tells you the cuttlefish lets in keyboard that you can get in here. And then you can fight them. But we have what we wanted. But we're look, le looking that there is no one in the landing or starting area um, before we leave. You should always do that. You can get really nasty surprises if you don't do that. So territory is clear. We can jump. Everything is clear. We know where we have to deliver that thing. It's the little dwarf. Does he has work for us? 5,600 experience and the chains of war. Oh boy. The only problem is for that quest to get, we need. Oh, there's the shield of the barbarians that I told you in the previous episode. Um, the problem is it increases the defense of barbarians by 100%. Woohoo! The defense of barbarians is 4. So, 100% is not really that good. Dirty McConan wants his castle back, which is actually a shipwreck on land. Defended by an orc. So that's piracy going wrong for you. And be really, really aware of the pirates around here. We've already, I think, now we have not yet beaten one of them, but we will because he's got a dragon. He's basically a normal guy that was able to rise a dragon and then he did go to war. But there is the quest. Did I mention I'm tired because my son woke me up at 2 o'clock and then at 3 o'clock I noticed that he brought some kind of mosquito into the room? God, I'm thankful for books. They smash so hard, these things. Well, now I have a bloody point on the wall, but that's worth it. So, robbers. Nice guys. Not what we need, but you can build an army around these if you play your cards right. Simply because there are a lot of items that support robbers, marauders, pirates, sea dogs, and um, sometimes this little fish. Terror fish are what they call devil fish. I think they're called devil fish. Um... And with all the bonuses and all the items, for example, two of the daggers um, and two of the belts, and you've got the right companion that can help you carrying that, you get an amazing amount of attack out, out of these guys. I mean, plus 20 attack and morale and all that. Pretty, pretty beautiful. Fast chip we have. 
it is faster you can outrun every enemy ship it's like you can outrun every enemy we have to go back to finish the chest but we've got enough leadership now to command our um inquisitors and theoretically speaking we could get our hands on an additional number of bone dragons or one more bone dragon that is bone dragons are cool because of their poison ability they can uh, do a ring of poison and that helps you with the achievement to get in the end 30 percent more fire and poison damage which is outstanding absolutely nice well that's it for today thank you for watching bye